Hey everybody, it's Murphy Gray Hunter and it is Friday, September 7th. Yes, September 7th. Um, I just want to show you a shopping haul. Okay, I know the light is really bright. It's this one of these little table lamps. Let me show y'all. See, one of those. And um, it's like a damn spotlight. I really should bring down my photography lights that I use when I do my photo shoots because those are like great lights but anyway I am so tired guys I don't know about y'all but allergies have been kicking my tail like <sighs> it's been so hard now the rain has been amazing it's been raining every day we've been having storms and in the middle of the night, you know, I hear the house like rumbling. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, who's in the house? And then I just realized it's just like thunder <laughs> and lightning outside. And, you know, I'm like, okay. But um, the only thing, yeah, it brings in so much great stuff. But at the same time, my allergies get even worse than normal. And, you know, my allergies are really bad to begin with. And so, yeah. And something is breaking me out, guys. Y'all see this? Do y'all see this all over my arms? Do y'all see how my, all of my arms are jacked up? Yeah, both. This one's not as bad. <sighs> From my shoulders to my hands. And like on my hands here, I got some little scars where I've been scratching. Like, a, like I got fleas or something. It's just like mostly my arms and sometimes my legs. And it's been bothering me like this since after my husband left. That's been already about a month. And they are just not healing. I'm like, what is happening? And um, I think that it has to do with the uh, fabric softener. Or See, I've been using the same laundry detergent and fabric softener. I use Gain fabric. I mean, I use fit Gain um, shower gel. What the hell? Uh, laundry detergent and then I use downy um fabric softener the liquid one and then the dryer sheets because I I'm a person who loves smelly stuff that smells so good like I love stuff to smell um and um so I've been using that all this time it so if it's not that it might be like I, I've been trying this new um, bubble bath from Bath and Body. It might be that. It may be my bubble shit that I bought from Lush. <laughs> it could be a new lotion. It could be something I'm eating. Who knows? I'm so allergic to everything. If you guys know me, y'all know that I should be living in a bubble. I have no idea. I can't put any makeup on my face or like my eyeballs because my eyes itch so bad I feel like a dried up sponge right I'm so thirsty anyway yeah I was at the store and, and I went to go to get my eyebrows wax and um, thank goodness I didn't get them done because the, the lady was like oh I I'm the only one here and I have to scrub his feet first. If you want to wait, I'm like, no, that's okay. I will just come back another day. I don't want to sit there and have you work on my face knowing you just work on his feet. I'm pretty sure this happens all the time, but I mean, knowingly, I'm, no, that's okay. And besides, my eyes were hurting so bad. And even though your eyes are closed, there's, they were, my eyes are just watering and watering. I mean, I'm just, they were so bloodshot earlier. They're not as red anymore. You can still see they're kind of red, but they were just like watering, watering, <laughs> watering. And um, so now I was like, no, it's okay. I've been putting like drops in them, um, which has been helping. But since I came home, they feel better since I'm home now versus outside. As soon as I stepped outside, they were just watering, watering. So I'm like, I can't put any makeup on. It just irritated more. Besides. Who cares, right? I only was supposed to go to the bank and to Walmart to get a couple of things, and that did not happen. I mean, that did happen, but I bought more than a couple of things. Okay, so here in the little town that I live in, oh, my legs are itching. And then I have nubs for nails right now because I took my hooker nails off because I'm still in the process of 
redoing, like moving things around, and I can't do shit when my nails are too long. Anyway, long story short, I can't scroll. I guess it's probably a good thing. So I've been doing the weave pad, you know. Ooh, stop itching. Yeah, that doesn't help. Um, did I tell you all this? Maybe I, I'm I'm just like so old. I can't remember. I get I have an olive oil plant outside, so I just take the olive oil, cut a piece off, and I just cut it down the middle and like open it all up, and then I just rub it like this. God, it is like instant relief great okay now back to my stuff <laughs> and we have this um a mexican grocery store i like to go to fiesta grocery store but that is about an hour or so away from me and um i have to really want stuff to go that far i just don't it's right in the middle right right before you hit downtown and i just really don't like to be there um if i don't have to be at least on the weekends <sighs> and anyway um but we have a store here in this little town that I live in. And uh, I went there when they first opened. And these are the kind of little little Mexican stores. Where they sell all of the products and there are a lot of Mexican products, okay? Um, and they have candles and, you know, oils and Florida water and rose colognes and Hoyt's colognes. Um, they have a lot of dried herbs. They have groceries, produce, um, a place where they sell like pottery, and you can get your moca, moca, het, moca, hete, moca, hata, moca, hete, moca, hete, moca, hete. Fuck, what is it? Moca, heka, moca, heka. Oh, it's that motor and pestle that's made out of the rock. Moca, heka. Guys, I'm. I know I'm probably like messing it all up. Anyway, it's a rock one. I have one. It's my favorite. Guys, I know, like, I know it's not, like, beautiful because it's just made out of, like, a rock and it looks like, oh, not cute and that's heavy. I bought one, a medium-sized one, and I have these pretty marble ones. I have a really nice wooden one, but that one, that one that I bought at, at Fiesta Grocery Store some time ago is my favorite. That shit will powder some shit down. I mean, it does the job. I freaking love it. So they have those there. Um, and uh, they have a like a butcher shop in the back or a meat market. I think that's what I'm trying to call it, a meat market. Um, and then they have also in the corner a place where they sell like pan, <laughs> pan dulce, like Mexican bread. Um, and uh, I've never, I love the way pan dulce looks. I love the way you have the little pink cakes and the the little biscuits that look like I don't know little baskets, <laughs> little pig cookies, and they got so many. It smells so good. Everything looks so good, but of course none of it is vegan. If I ask them, they probably look at me like, "Do you want this or not?" <laughs> no, thank you. So, but I even when I wasn't vegan. I never liked it. I'm not, a, I don't like sweet stuff, so that's why. I don't like cakes or donuts or anything like that. Uh, probably the good thing that I don't. But anyway, the, you can get that there. And then they have like a little restaurant area where you can sit down. They have like, ooh, and it smells amazing. They just, they have all kinds of like, I don't know, all kinds of dish, all kinds of things swimming in gravy and juices and I don't know what any of the stuff was. Um, tortillas, like making homemade tortillas, um, and they got like big things of rice, um, beans. Then they have like all the aguas frescas, you know, like the watermelon juice, pineapple juice. Um, there was a place, um, in South Austin that I used to go to when I used to work at the South Austin hospital. I worked there for like six months thinking that I wanted to go back to deliver babies. What was I thinking? Anyway, I worked there for six months and... Before I would go to work, I'd stop at that little shop because they have Mexican shops, like markets are amazing for like fruit juices. Like they have the best fruit juices. Um, and they were make they had a fruit bar. So they were just making like homemade juice, like just pure juice. So every time I go there, she make me carrot juice, just pure carrot juice, just zzz, 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 and fill up a little, like a little half gallon. That was, I love carrot juice like that. 
Um, and I would get like fruit bowls and take them to work. And anyway, it th was great. Um, but um, this one doesn't have a little fruit like juicer bar there, but they do have all those aguas frescas. I had a really bad experience drinking some aguas frescas of pineapple one time. I got some serious food poisoning going on with that. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I was not diagnosed with that, but um, I was. I didn't have bubble guts, so not like explosive diarrhea. No, I had severe stomach pain. Like I thought I was gonna have five babies, and I was like. I was I was at work. I was hurting so bad. I had to go lay down, and they were like, "Do you want to go home? We you could go home." I'm like, no, because there's only one scrub nurse for the whole shift. What happens if you have to have surgery? There's nobody here. Like, who's y'all don't know how to do it. So I'm there's only one per shift, and I didn't. I felt like I would be leaving the floor not covered, right? And they're like, "Well, if we get an emergency. We can call somebody from downstairs to surgery and come up here." But at night, you know, you run on a skeleton crew and I'm like, look, it's five, it's, it was almost five in the morning and I got off, of, my relief came in at 6.45. I'm like, it's like 4.30, it was 4, 4.15, 4.30. I'm like, it's okay. I'll wait it out. I'm sure I'll be fine. It'll go, God, I thought I was dying. I said, I think I'm in labor. They're like, what? I'm like, I think I'm in labor. Something is hurting me. I never felt that way before. Oh, it was terrible. So I kind of stayed away from that since then. Mm-mm. So, anyway, let me show you what I got. Um, from there, I bought this candle. These were $1.29. Yes, you can get these at the dollar store. However, at the dollar store, some dollar stores don't have solid color green ones or co solid color ones. There they had like pink, blue, purple. I hardly ever come across a pink one, but they had a pink one there. Um, and if I need solid color candles like this, I'll go all the way to Fiesta because most dollar stores where I live only have white ones. And so they do have, few, I didn't stock up because it's here. If I need it, I'll just go get it. I have so many candles on top of my closet. I just really don't want to buy things that I don't need. I really don't stock up on certain things unless I know I use it. And I know I'm going to use this. And so for my money altar, I like to keep green candles going. Um... So I bought this little cheap candle, guys. And I bought another candle from my Santa Muerte altar. This is an ugly candle. Look at this ugly candle. Oh, almost dropped this ugly candle. Like, why should God look like that? But, you know, I have a rainbow candle. I have a big 14-day glass candle. Have y'all seen those 14-day glass candles? They're just like this, but they're like ginormous size. And they're, they're, they burn for 14 days straight without turning it off for like 14 days. You know, like these are supposed to be seven. Um, but it's, I have a big, big one like that. It's a rainbow candle. And that's, that's the candle that I burn for her like on a daily. Um, and so I'm like, my coven sister sent me two really pretty candles. And I didn't want to burn them. She's like, I, girl, I can get you more. Don't, don't worry. Just use them. I'm like, no, I don't want to use them. So I went ahead and I used one. And it burned out. And I have the other ones that are like glass. And they just have like the image of her on there. Like a stencil image. Those are okay. And I thought, you show is ugly. Like, I'm like, I can't put this on there for her. But I bought it anyway. And there's a little prayer in the back, and it's in Spanish. I don't know what it says, but anyway, I got that. Then I got two bottles of Florida water because I don't know if you guys are like me, but you can never have too much Florida water. You know what I mean? Like, I have so many bottles of Florida water, but every time I go, I'm like, oh, Florida water. Let me get two more bottles. I go through Florida water so much because there's so many uses that you, usages that you can use these usages that you can use Florida water. It's been a long day, guys. Um, and so I do, I, I go through a lot. Um, I was just reading here the ingredients. Um, alcohol, water, fragrances, blue color, yellow color. But I do like using Florida water. You can make your own, but anyway. So I always make sure I have Florida water. 
I think those were $2.68 a piece. Then I bought this rose cologne. I have the um, orange cologne. I have Hoyt's cologne. I have that, oh, what is it? Siete, siete Muchos. I think that's what it's called. Um, the little black bottle. I have that one. That one's for my Santa Muerte. But when I was little, my grandma, my witchy grandma on my daddy's side, um, also used to uh, use rose cologne. I don't know what kind of cologne she used, but she always smelled like roses or she smelled like vanilla. She used to get vanilla extract and just like doop, doop, and on her neck. And I remember my grandpa would always be sniffing her around because she always smelled like cookies, right? But um, I was like, oh, she always smells like cookies. But it's that she would use vanilla extract. And I didn't know until I saw her doing it one day. Mm, and this smells exactly like my grandma has smelled like. Like, oh, this This is, ex every time Bath & Body has a rose smelling thing or any perfume place, I don't use perfume, I use sprays. I, I'm not into perfumes. The only perfume that I like is the um, Elizabeth Arden's um, Sunflower, the old school Sunflower. Mm, I'm so stuck in the 80s. That is, I, I, I use that right now. That's so good. Um, I do like that. I don't really, I'm not a perfume gal, I'm more of a spray body, you know, bath and body sprays. I love that shit. And I love, I loves, <laughs> I love men's cologne. I buy the happy cologne for men. Um, who's it by? Clinique, but for men. The Clinique happy for women smells really good too, but I prefer men's cologne. And I like Calvin Klein men's cologne. I love my husband's Perry Ellis cologne. Oh, I just love cologne. Love it. But this smells really good. You guys know my fascination with cologne. It does something to me. It speaks to me, though, yes. But this smells like my grandma. And I don't think I'm really going to use this for anything other than just smelling it and having that memory. Because it smells just like her. I mean, I, I, now I know I can get it. But um, it just smells so good. Um, you know, this is really good if you want to use, like, to make rose water, you know, or, like, if you're making uh, rose water for your house to clean, or if you're using it um, in your bath water to make, you know, bath bath water to cleanse or whatever. Um, not so much to cleanse, but just, like, a bath, like a, what am I trying to say? I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but to make a bath, a bath water. I know it's just guys I I've, I've been I have been suffering. Yeah. It's been a long week and I'm just really I'm like I'm like physically and mentally tired. And I think when you're more mental tired, you're just like I'm I I'm too ahead of my thoughts and I don't and I can't like put how tired I am and my thoughts together so we can beat one and <laughs> And, and I just, yeah, that don't make sense. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> now, I don't know exactly what this is for. I'm thinking, I know what the what the herb is used for, so I'm thinking this is the same thing, this, this solve. Um, I don't know if this is Arnica. Arnica? I'm not sure. But this says it's for rough and dry skin non-irritating so i wanted to try it on on all of this look at that I swear. um and it says here oh so small this is for fast soothing relief for dry and cracked skin oh that's in spanish i'm like why can't i read that because it's in spanish um so i thought i'd just give it a try then, um, I use camphor for a lot of things. I, I think I'm going to make a video. Actually, I'm not thinking I'm making a video. I am going to make a video. Obviously, when my brain is a little bit more, you know, um, more relaxed and has gotten some relief. Because, like I said, I'm just really tired. And allergies have been kicking my ass. And um, so, I want to do a video on camphor. 
on teaching you how to make a camphor ointment and how to make a camphor oil and all the usages of camphor. So that's a video I'm going to be doing. I taught about camphor in the, in the coven and I use camphor tablets for protection um, in the front part of the house. And so I use these little tablets here. These tablets here. I get these from the Indian market. You go to the Indian market, there they have a place, um, an aisle that it's for all the offerings. So when you go there, you're like, where's your offering aisle? And then they tell you in there, everything that you use to offer any of your Hindu goddesses, Hindu gods, or your Buddha, or anything else, they have it there. And that's where I get these from. And I can't remember how much these were, but um, straight Vicks, guys. Now, some camphor smells like Vicks, and some smells like um, mothballs. <laughs> I don't like those. Those that smell like mothballs are those big square blocks, and I smash them to make powder, and Ooh, honey, but these smell like Vicks. They will open you right up. So I use three of these small ones in a um, glass of, in a jar of water, of enchanted water, moon water, whatever type of water you want to use, by the front door for helping to cleanse. I also use camphor incense. Anyway, but that'll be when I teach about camphor. So this is an ointment here. This smells exactly like Vicks, and this is used for deep, deep pain relief. I was like, ooh, mama needs some of this because I got some pain. Sometimes my back hurts really bad, and especially since I've been walking. Guys, y'all be so proud of me. I've been walking um, twice a week, but I really want to start walking three days a week. And uh, I walk right here on my cul-de-sac. So 10 times in my cul-de-sac makes two miles. Now you have to walk around and all the way to the stop sign and back. And I have my, on my, um, my Apple watch, it counts my steps. So I'm like, okay, cause I have a treadmill, but the treadmill is so hard. Like for me, it hurts my knees and hurts everything. And I'm just like, Ooh, like it's bad enough having to carry my five asses all around you know and then on the treadmill too no so i started walking outside and i'm like screw it i'm just gonna walk outside and i went it was so nice to walk outside and to get some fresh air just like at 7 38 in the morning guys y'all know that's been killing me because i'm not a day person so i roll over and i go to sleep and then the the phone goes you know starts going off right dun 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 Dun, dun, what the hell? Why is that my phone to ring up? I used to have one that says, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, that shit hate. I just, ugh. I didn't love my phone so much. I'll get away. But, you know, um, I, I have to find something. Then I have one that sounds like birds. But we have birds that chirp by the window, by our bedroom window, like telling me to wake your ass up. Come give us some fresh seeds, right? Um, and so I never wake up. So, um... I don't know. I got to find something, but I swear. So I've been rolling out oh, the, the second day that alarm went off. Cause I swear I went to bed again about five something. I cannot fall asleep at night. I'm such a night owl. I rolled, rolled, rolled. Cause we have a king size bed. So I rolled a couple of times and the last roll, I, I hit the floor because I, you know, purposely did that. So my feet would hit the floor and you know so i could wake up when my feet hit the floor after walking that first day guys y'all would have think that i was an amputee and i was like standing on my own cut feet like the stumps the pain that i felt on my feet oh my god i i was walking like i was like walking on hot lava you should see me walking like uh, uh. It hurts so bad. I'm like, oh my God, my feet hurt so bad. I'm like, I have to do this. So, you know, the second day was rougher for me because my feet hurt so bad. And I have running shoes. I think I, my neighbor says she uses these special shoes that are made for the concrete outside. So I'm going to look into those and go get me some because baby, my feet were just killing me. I know it's a combination of walking outside on that particular type of pavement and carrying my five asses. I'm telling you guys, I'm not joking. 
and my feet are like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go back and sit on your five asses because that feels better. No, no. So, and when I was doing my, I was on number eight, right, to go around, my lower back started to, like, hurt really bad. I have a herniated disc, and it's on my lower back. Again, this just has to do with weight. I know it does. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that that has something to do with it. It's like the same reason why your knees hurt, your feet hurt. But you could be a skinny bitch and still have those problems. But being, you know, large and in charge doesn't help that either. So, anyway, I'm like, no, no. We're going to do 10. And as soon as I hit that thing and that said, blink, blink, two miles, shit, we walking on in. And so I'm trying to do two miles three days a week. Um, and I know some people run like six miles. I get up and I run six miles a day. I get up at the crack ass of dawn and I run six miles. Well, good for you. Because I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, you should see me struggling to the toilet. I was like, oh, God, somebody help me. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So I bought this to see what that will help me with. And then I bought this. I think I want to send this to my husband or should I might keep it myself this is um de la cruz 100% cocoa butter I've never seen this before but my husband loves him some cocoa butter I think I want to send this to him because I'm sending him a little love box oh god this smells so good it smells just like coconut and it's like a little push-up see dun, 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 dun. look at that and there it is and then you push it back down mm, it's just cocoa butter so I'm sure you could use this um, on any ash that you might have. My husband is a um, my husband is a um, fan. You know, he's a follower of Ash. Her Ash follows him, and he's always ashy, so he needs cocoa butter. <laughs> Someone sent him that. So then um, I'm not sure how much that cost me. Then I bought me some more Alum. Um, now, I do like to use Alum. Alum is great for protection. You can put this in your water also for protection. You can also use Alum when you are doing like malicious work. You can use this in there. Alum is toxic. Now, you can use, this is an actual natural deodorant. You can take one of these and rub your armpits and hope for the best, right? I won't try that shit living in Texas. Um, I gotta be around people. I can't be stinky. So... Um, I'd be like, can I put like three of these rocks together and try that? I don't know. But I know that you can't use this on your skin all the time because it is toxic. Um, uh, but the alum, I do use alum stone, like I said, when I'm using, um, when I'm doing, um, protection or malicious work. There are a lot of usages for alum. I'm just saying what I use it for. And that was a dollar... 29 I believe then I got these two for 99 cents these are all spice um, berries um, I, I have a lot of these and I also have powdered ones um, but I I go through these a lot when I do like any type of good luck or money mojo I use alum berries I mean alum <laughs> all spice berries I wish I had set up for myself more here's but divorced men wish they said they did differently in their marriages. I don't know. It's something on CNN. It's like, what? Then I bought some thyme. I have culinary thyme. But I don't like to mix my culinary with my witchy stuff. So I also use thyme in my mojo um, bags. And I told y'all this weekend I'm going to go get me a money tree. I'm making my mojo bag. And I'm going to tie my mojo bag to my money tree. So as my money, tree, my money tree grows and flourishes, so will my money. And then I bought some of these. These are uh, these Valoran root. Now, I have found some High John the Conqueror root there before. I have not found any more scent. It's been a very long time. I normally have this in powder. But I didn't have the root, so I went ahead and bought two of these. And then I got two bags of um, fresh basil leaves. These were $1.99 a piece. Because you can never have too much of these. On my money altar, I have a little container of sea salt. And I put in nine 
um, bay leaves. What did I, did I say these were bay leaves? I don't know what I just said a few minutes ago, what these were. I can't even remember. I think I need to go take a nap. But I have a little, <laughs> a little container of sea salt and I put nine of these on my money altar. For good, for, you know, prosperity and wealth. Okay, that's all that I bought at that little shop. Then I went to Wally Mart and I bought some stuff. Guys, look at this. Isn't this cute? It's a little hand. It reminds me of the Adams Family. The little thing, I think it's what they called it. It's a, um, a juice cup. Oh, it's a candle holder. I know. That's so cute, right? This was for $4.84. Then I bought some votive candles, and these were $1.74. And then I bought two packs of black tea light candles. These were $0.98 cents a piece. Right now is the time to go buy these candles. They do have the tapered candles, the black and orange taper candles. They also have the um, white taper candles that bleed red. Um, they have those at Walmart too, but I don't have any use for those. Um, so this is a good time to, if you stock, they also, during fall, they have brown candles. So if you, especially orange and brown, and black those are hard to find this is a time to get them now now if you are trying to find solid color candles like if you want a brown candle and you can't find one anywhere you can always go to like michael's or home deep not home deep hobby lobby like craft stores or a candle shop they have taper candles in every color so if it's july and you're trying to get an orange candle for a road opening spell uh, at least that's what i would use it for um, you could go to a, um, a craft store or a specialty candle shop and they sell them all, every solid color there you can think of. So just, just a little bit of, you know, a little tip. Um, some more double-sided tape. I bought some more incense, some sage and dragon's blood, you know, the Ganesh. Um, and then I bought three of these. You can never have too many. Tea. I go through tea lights so fast. These were two dollars a piece. I just I go through these so quickly, and I just put this up. These are 50, 50 lights. So one will go here in this altar. One will go um, in my um, um, over there where my money altar is, where my Ganesh is, and then this other one stays down here where my wax my wax tart station is. And um, so I'll put half there and half take upstairs um, so I can use some in my witchy room. I have a brand new one in my witchy room, so I don't really need, I didn't need another one. Um, and then I bought this gun because it's my favorite. I'm a gun, a gun. I'm a gum person. I'm not a gun person. I'm a gum person. Um, I bought one for my husband too, but I don't know what I do with it. Oh, here they are. My husband likes Tic Tacs, so I'm sending him some Tic Tac gum. But these... Lord, these are delicious. Mm. Okay. Then tape. Because I'm sending two boxes off. I'm sending one to my husband and one to a friend of mine where I'm doing a... I'm exchanging some herbs. So, Brenda, if you're watching, you're going to get some of this stuff. You're going to get some of this allspice berries. So I'm going to send you some of this plant shit. Jesus. Some of this um, bay leaf and some other stuff that I have. Anyway, um trash bags and then i bought this this little tripod i have a tripod for my my big professional camera but i don't use my big professional camera to make videos i make um off my cell phone now eventually when i get to that status where i have like so many followers like i have you know millions of followers please look that's never gonna happen but if that should ever happen I want to, I will invest as actually if I start getting like more and I start looking like it's going to be, you know, um, I will invest in some better equipment, but my phone is great. I don't have no problems with my phone. Anyway, you can use your GoPro, your smartphone or your camera. I have a camera tripod, but this has a particular clip that you put on here so you can use for your smartphone. So we gonna try that and if it doesn't work that shit will be going back because i don't have a reason for it okay then i bought the 
look how cute these are. <gasps> Ooh, aren't these cute? Oh my God, I forgot what these are called. My daughter told me what these are called. I cannot remember the color. You know, it kind of, they look like purple, they look like yellow, they look like pink. Aren't those so cute? So cute. Um, I didn't need them. I didn't need them at all. I just wanted them because they're so cute. Look at that color. I just love it. So I got those. These were $25. Um, then I bought my husband some Swiss cake rolls. And I bought him some boxes of tissue because my husband has horrible allergies like I do. And um, he, um, you know, he's overseas and he says that he's been draining, like his nose is so runny and he's been blowing his nose so much that it's so sore. And so he just has regular Kleenex. So I got him some that has lotion in it. Guys, have y'all smelled the one that has Vicks in the lotion? I mean, Vicks in the lotion. Vicks in the tissue. Ooh, it smells so good. But that's just with lotion. Then I'm going to put some, some snacks. I got him some spicy Doritos. Ooh. And I got him these. <laughs> these right here. Um, what are these? Pork rinds with the fat attached to it. <laughs> I got some regular ones and some um, some um, spicy ones. Then I got I got this for five eighty four. Look at this. Do you dare to enter the witch's lair? <gasps> How cute! It's just like a little majiga, like a little I don't know. Help me. I don't know, like a little stand-up sign. But this is going to go right in front of my witchy room. Right in front of it. It's so cute. I just, I freaking love it. Five eighty-four. Five eighty-four. Okay. Then, the last thing that I got. Oh, that's not the last thing. I got me a cushion for my butt. For my five asses. I got a cushion. Four of my five asses. No, let me tell you. In my witchy room, I have one of those fold-out chairs, and I have a little cushion. You would think with five asses, I wouldn't need one, right? You got so much back there. You couldn't possibly need more cushion. I do. I do. It's delicate, okay? <laughs> um. So then I take that chair, and I take it into the classroom, because I need to get two office chairs. I have one office chair in there for Jade. But I need one for myself. And um, so I take it back and, you know, from one room to the other, which is fine. I'm going to, I should have bought a chair when I was right there. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, so I bought a cushion. Matches my room, the color. So when I go back to Walmart, I'll get another chair so I, so I don't have to go back and forth. But I think the whole logic behind that is because I'm going to buy an office chair for the classroom. Yes, I'm going to buy an office chair. But anyway, so this is what I got. This is the last thing. These were $10.84. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I know the light is horrible. Look at this little witchy poo. Oh my God, isn't she cute? She was $10.84. I bought one like this last year and it has the same kind of print like this, but it's purple and she has a little, um, she has a little hat and I think she's green, I think. She's sitting over there. But um, this, she has a pumpkin. She's like a crone, and she has a little tree. And see, look at her face. Put it closer. Isn't she cute? And so I got her. Then I got this one because I couldn't decide. And they have this kind of plastic thing that they, they stand up like this. So, like, if you do a Halloween tree, these would be great for tree toppers because they can fit right right on the tree. See, like this? But I don't do a Halloween tree. But look how cute. Girl, look at that hair. They, they, she is sporting some Diana Ross hair, right? Dirty Diana. Oh, that's a Michael Jackson song, but that's about Diana, I think. What is, what is Diana Ross' songs? 
I, you know, I can't even, I can see her right now singing with all that hair blowing, but I can't think of any of the songs. I know, right? And look, she's got a little ring. Her little nails are done. So cute. And she's holding on to a broom. Okay, and then I got one more. I, they had three. I couldn't decide, so I got all three. And look at this one. Oh, my gosh. She's holding a little pumpkin, like a little lollipop, but it's a pumpkin. It's got little ribbons and same kind of cute face. That Diana Ross hair going. Look at that. I got to think of a song. I'm going to have to look it up. Look up a song of Diana Ross so we can sing, girls. So we can be the Supremes. Isn't that cute? And so they all got little hats, and they all all the hats have. She's got a pumpkin on her hat. She's got a pumpkin, and she's got a spider. And they're all like little velvet. She has a little velvet dress. She's got a velvet cape. They are so cute. Or this is a cape. Yes, yeah, a cape. Aren't they cute? I know it, it's horrible. The lighting. I'm sorry. So cute. What I'll do is I'll take a picture, a feature, and I'll put it at the end so you can see. But that's what I got. I only went there to get, um, I went there to get my eyebrows, you know, done. I didn't get that. And then I went to get, um, the cat food for them little heathen children out there. Those little bastard cats, I swear, they're still hissing at me. I'm like, y'all gonna learn. So today, I didn't have any food for them so when I was leaving this morning they were looking at me like uh aren't you forgetting to feed us and I'm just like y'all gonna learn to appreciate my ass I was gone all day today and I don't feel horribly bad because all of the neighbors in our cul-de-sac leave dishes of food out for little cats because our neighborhood is known for having you know feral cats and living out in the country we all want a feral cat to be in our yard they be baby they they are they're outside like hunting they kill snakes and they keep rats and mice and shit like that so yeah all the neighbors leave little bowls of food out so i don't feel terribly bad because they do go i my neighbors i told her when i came home she saw me she's like you know asking me what i was doing i told her i'm about to go feed these little bastard cats because you know as soon as i got home they all came out. There's four of them. Three gray and one orange one. They come out like, bitch, you've been gone all day. And our bowls are still empty. You know, and they're just sitting there all like that, just looking. And some talking. And as I'm talking to the neighbor, they keep getting closer and closer and just kind of relaxing. And like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then and I'm still talking. I'm looking at them. I'm ignoring them. And then the little orange one comes and gets really close to me because they don't let me touch them. And they'll just, you know. And, um, you know, Shim, because I don't know if it's a boy or girl. So I don't know if it's a she or he, so I just say Shim. And, you know, um, again, I'm not trying to, like, you know, say that in any offending way. I'm just saying I don't know if it's a she or a him. So it's a Shim. And it's looking at me and, like, stop talking and come feed us. So as soon as I tell a neighbor I'm going to go feed these cats, she goes, yeah, I left some food out and blah, blah, blah. So I, she leaves food, but they, they're they fat little cats. So they've been, they go visit everybody. So, and I've been buying them that good food with those tender centers with rotisserie chicken in it. So I'm walking over there and that little orange cat is like hissing at me. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm totally going to not feed you anymore. I don't like you hissing at me. Like, are you crazy? You know, and I know they're just feral and that's where they've been since they were babies and whatever. But I don't harm them. I don't, you know, I call them little bastards and I, and I threaten them a, a few times. But, I mean, just in words. You know? I'm like, if you guys don't stop hissing at me, I'm not going to feed y'all anymore. You know, today y'all learned y'all's lesson that y'all better be nice to me. Because otherwise this is what it'll feel like to not have food all day. But they're like, whatever. You're going to get up. You're going to feed us. And I'm like, damn straight I am. Because <laughs> I can't not feed them. They're so cute. I'm allergic to cats, too. 
So it's just something else, something else that makes me itch. But anyway, that's all a lot. Tomorrow, we are gonna go to the farmer's market. I'm super excited. I love the farmer's market. And then um, Jade and I are gonna go to Spirit Store. We went last week, and I'm gonna try to put that video to, no, I'm such a deek dong. I already put it together. I already made it for y'all. Also, I was gonna try to put it together and show y'all, but I did do that. The video that I still need to put together and show y'all is my, my Halloween, oh, my birthday video. I know, I, I really need to take a bath and lay down. Um, and I'm gonna put that together, and my birthday was from August 24th, I promise I'll get it together. Um, and um, I'll put that together, and there was a whole purpose while I was telling you that. Oh yeah, because tomorrow, that's what I'm, tomorrow we're gonna go to the spirit store, and I would just wanna see, because we have a spirit store here where we live, and I just wanna see what else, because you know I collect Ouija board stuff, and uh, I just want to see what else they have. Um, and uh, I bought a, um, I bought the Sanderson Sisters cup. This is my second. Last year I bought the one that says Hocus Pocus on it. This year I bought the ones with the, all three sisters on it that says something like, um, shit, I don't know. Um, I don't know what it says. If you look at the spirit video that I made, and you'll see the one with the silhouette of the three sisters, I bought that cup. And I bought... Um, the year before that, I bought um, two witchy coffee cups and a, a witchy tumbler, the witchy tablecloth cover, my witchy throw blanket that I use in my witchy room. Um, I mean, my Ouija board throw blanket that I use in my witchy room. I bought my Ouija board placemat that goes on top of my door in my witchy room. And I bought my Ouija board salt and pepper shakers that's also upstairs in my witchy room. So, I do like to collect Ouija board things. Um, and I actually, I have, a, I have a Ouija board itself, but I don't, I don't need to collect. Like, I know some people collect boards all the time. Um, I, I do want to collect boards, but I have not seen another one that I would just say, take me home. I have, I'm, I'm not that kind of collector that I collect, like, I collect witches. You know, I, I collect these type... But I collect these type of witches, like the ones that kind of look more vintagey, more older. Not the traditional commercialized witches, like the Halloween witches. That I don't really collect the Halloween type of witches. Like you guys don't know what I mean. Like the ones that have like the green faces, or which I do find those are quite pretty. But um, the more of the cartoonish ones, I don't kind of collect. I collect these that look like like dolls. Um, Anyway, um, so I want to go to Spirit Store tomorrow and see what else they have. And then um, we're going to go to um, Ross because Ross also carries witches. And Ross has so many cute Halloween things. And I want to go to Yankee Candle, which is right next door to Ross, and see if they have the Witches Brew Candle. Um, I do not like buying candles from anywhere other than Bath & Body. But the... Yankee Candle every year has a Witch's Brew Candle that I always want to buy, and I never get it. Every year it comes and goes, and I never get it. So I want to go and see what it smells like and see if I, you know, am I going to get it. Um, I don't know. Like I said, it just depends. And then I'm going to go to Bath and & Body and buy some candles because the candles are half off. They're like $12.50 or $12.95, something like that. The three-wick candles are normally $25 a piece, but I buy them... When they're on sale and so I have a coupon that you get ten dollars off of thirty and plus I get a free item and I get something else for five dollars you get one free item and then one thing for five dollars and then you get um, I think it's twenty percent off of my entire thing or ten off of I have a coupon for ten off of thirty or twenty percent off of my entire uh, my entire purchase so I'm gonna use one of those and I'm going to go get me uh, another three or four candles. Uh, they have right now like a blueberry fall leaf one. And then they have a pumpkin marshmallow. And they have a couple other fall ones. I love fall candles. Uh, I love bath and body candles. I just, I love them so much. Um, and uh, I have a, I, I burned the coffee one upstairs in the classroom during when we have class 
guys, it smells like Starbucks in there. But, it, you know, burning coffee candles and rosemary candles, though, just those two, for example, just one or the other, like, you know, helps with focus and, and concentration and helps keep you alert. Um, I was burning that coffee one in there. It smelled amazing. The whole house smelled like it. Um, and those, can I love Bath and Body candles. I get a lot of use out of them and they make our whole house smell good. Some people say, oh, they're too expensive. Like, they are expensive, but I, I do get a lot of use. I mean, they, they burn completely down. And so then I wash out the container. Then I use the container to keep my herbs in because they have like a sealed lid and the lids are so cute. On top, they're always decorated like something depending on what you, what month you buy it for. Um, and so I, I definitely, especially if they're through the, the bath and body that has a white barn in there, the white barn candles look like marble on the outside. And so after they burn completely down, you can wash it and you can use it to store your herbs or whatever it is you want in your house. So I definitely um, like to use those. But anyway, um, I'm going to go to... <sighs> I'm so sleepy right now. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. And I'm going to go take a bath. And I think I'm going to try to lay down for a little while. Um, or probably wait till after my husband calls me. I'm just really, really sleepy. I have not been able to sleep well. I, I have horrible insomnia. I suffer from insomnia since I was a child. Um, I've done the whole sleep study. I've done three sleep studies. I've done so many home remedies and medication and I just don't sleep well. I've always had this problem. And um, and it's just double whammy right now because I feel sick from allergies. And I've been getting up early to walk outside. So going to bed at 5 in the morning to only wake up at 7.30 to get out there and walk. And then do my morning chores and then have uh, school and then, you know, things like that. I just, and then when it's time, you would think, oh, my, sorry, my face is itchy. You would think when, um, I can't scratch my nose anymore, so I have to scratch the size of my face. Does it help? Mm. Um, it gives me the illusion that I'm rubbing my nose. <sighs> but, <laughs> anyway, um, you would think, like, when it's time to go to sleep, I would just fall out. Um, I, I'm just wide awake again. And then I do fall asleep for a little bit, and then I wake up after a few hours. Like, it may be, like... Maybe two to four hours have passed, and then I wake up. And because I drink so much water, I have to pee constantly. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to put a pamper on or not drink or, I don't know, sleep in the tub. I don't know what to do. But, yeah, it's, you know, good thing I don't have to get up to go to any job because I would be a zombie. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to go now. And um, thanks for watching all this time. Uh, and y'all look for, forward to some more videos this week. I'm going to do um, some more witchy videos. I'm going to do a witchy video talking about the benefits of coffee, that how you can use coffee in your magical practice. Also on camphor and a couple other things I got coming up. And I'm also going to be doing a homeschool video um, and just like some vlogs and stuff. All right, guys, as always, love y'all and blessed be.